Spider-Man follows Peter Parker, a school outcast and a bully victim. While on a field trip with his friend Harry Osborn and love interest MJ, Peter is bitten by genetically engineered Super Spider. As a result, Peter gains superhuman abilities. After his beloved Uncle Ben is murdered, the teenager realizes that he must use his newfound abilities to protect New York City. Meanwhile, wealthy industrialist Norman Osborn subjects himself to an experimental performance-enhancing serum, which creates a psychotic and murderous split personality becoming the Green Goblin. Spider-Man faces the Green Goblin in an abandoned building where they engage in a brutal fight. When Spider-Man manages to overpower the Goblin, Norman reveals himself and begs for forgiveness while programming his glider to impel his enemy. Sensing the danger, Spider-Man dodges and the glider impales Norman, killing him. At the funeral, Harry swears the vengeance towards Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2 picks up two years after the event of the first film. Peter is struggling to balance both his superhero life and a private civilian life. The hero must face Dr. Octopus, a mad scientist with four mechanical tentacles fused to his spine that sets out to recreate a dangerous fusion-based experiment that could destroy half of New York City. To recreate the experiment, Dr. Octopus makes a deal with Harry Osborn. He will bring the Spider-Man and in return, Harry will give him the isotopes. Doc Ock delivers Spidey to Harry, he gets his isotopes and leaves. Harry prepares to kill Spider-Man only to be shocked to find out Peter under the mask. Peter decides to stop Dr. Octavius. He heads to his lab where Spidey manages to subdue Octavius and asks him to stop the experiment. Octavius sacrifices his lives to stop the experiment. Harry is visited by a vision of his father in a mirror pleading Harry to avenge his death. Third film finds Peter basking in the spotlight as Spider-Man and fighting in balance between being a superhero and being with his love Mary Jane Watson. Harry finally decides to take his revenge on Spider-Man. He becomes the new goblin and threatens Peter's life. A.D. Brock, another photographer, sets out on a mission to defame Spider-Man. Flint Marco, an escaped convict, falls into a particle accelerator and becomes a shape-shifting sand monster later known as the Sandman. Peter learns that Marco is the one that killed Uncle Ben, causing Peter's own dark intentions to grow. This vendetta is enhanced by the appearance of the venom that bonds to Peter. Under the symbiote's influence, Peter exposes A.D. Brock, whose fake photos depict Spider-Man as a criminal. Once Peter separates himself from the alien, it finds a new host in the form of Brock. Brock locates Marco and convinces him to join forces to defeat Spider-Man. Harry learns the truth that his father died from his own glider and goes to help Peter as he is being overpowered, resulting in a battle between the four. During the battle, Harry sacrifices himself to save Peter. Recalling the symbiote's weakness, Peter uses a pumpkin bomb to destroy the symbiote. Peter and MJ attend Harry's funeral. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and share. If you want me to do any other movies or TV shows, let me know in the comments below which ones you want me to do next. Or don't. It's up to you, but make sure to subscribe for more.